This is the 8th grade TCAP practice test for math, grade 8. Uh, question number 26 says, which graph best represents the solution to 2y plus 4 is greater than or equal to 4x plus 2? Now, there's a couple ways you can go about doing this. The easiest way is just to convert everything to y equals form and then solve for it. Uh, so what I'm going to do is try to get y by itself. I might need to draw a line here to make my life easier. Uh, 2y plus 4. In order to get y by itself, the first thing I need to do is eliminate plus 4, so I'm going to subtract 4. And I have to subtract it from 2 because it doesn't have an x. You can't do anything to that x, you have to leave it. 2 minus 4 is negative 2. Those cancel, bring down 2y. Now I can't do 2y, I've got to do y by itself. I'm going to divide by 2. The thing is, when I have multiple terms over here, I have to divide everything by 2. That's what that looks like. Um, since I'm dividing by a positive, this greater than equal to sign is going to stay. Those cancel. 4 divided by 2 is 2x minus 1. Then I'm going to graph it in my calculator. I have a TI-84+, plus. you may have something different. So I'm trying to get the 2x minus 1 in first. Just like that. Now I want a shade, and I know I always look at the y to tell me what to do. The y is next to the bigger end, so this is a greater than question. So I can click over on my calculator to that little windshield wiper thing there, and I'm going to hit enter, which is down here, until I could get uh, what looks like a graph shaded on top. There it is. See how it looks like it's shaded on top? This is what it looks like if it's shaded under. It looks like the bottom half is a sandwich. But we need greater than, so I'm going to do top half of a sandwich. It looks just like this one. This one has a lot of choices. Uh, so now all I have to do is graph it. And it looks like that. It's very important to look where it crosses uh, the y-axis, underneath. So what I'm going to look for, and since I, and by the way, something that might be helpful later, is since I have this equal to sign, I know I have a solid line. So I'm looking for one that crosses underneath looks just like this. The only two that have top side shading are this one and this one. Now I need, like I said before, it's important to look to see that I cross below the x-axis when I hit that y. If you look at j, it's crossing the y-axis above the x. So that's not it. So It's got to be f because it's crossing right here, below, just as it should. So the answer to number 26 is f. Now, another way that I could look at this question, in, in case you're really bad at moving the, uh, the information around on the calculator and you can't quite m remember to divide by anything, there is like this really easy method, uh, not easy, but it's kind of a modified method to make sure that at least you can get the graph and the calculator correctly. As we said before, the original equation, let me rewrite it real fast, 2y plus 4 now I'm just trying to get y by itself and y is multiplied by 2 so if you kinda circle this what I'm gonna do is get everything on the other side of the equation that's not that 2y so I'm gonna move this plus 4 in order to do that I need to subtract 4 but I'm not gonna combine it with anything I'm just gonna leave it in this 4x plus 2 minus 4 form now whatever you have divided by that 2 you just divide everything over here by 2 but instead of doing that in the more detailed form I'm just gonna put all this in parentheses and put divide by 2 if whatever I divide by is negative I need to flip this over I don't need to flip this over this is what my original graph looks like now let me clear that out and put in this everything that was on the other side I can just keep so 4x plus 2 is fine subtract 4 close it out because I had to subtract 4 to get rid of it and then divide that whole thing by 2 I don't know why I typed it into this section probably stupidity 4x plus 2 minus 4 sorry about that so everything on the right side of the graph just keep normal anything on the other side that you have to move that's not times uh, just change the sign and put it here so instead of plus 4 it's minus 4 and then you divide by that 2 and since I divided by a positive here I don't have to flip this over it is still greater than and just graph it and shockingly it's the same exact graph so worse comes to worse if you can't do anything else you can still get the answer to be 26 simply or 226 simply by using the information given to you in the question